Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about the transformation of the gamma distribution. Myself, Dr. Gurk. What is the meaning of that? If you have the two uh, variables which are independent of the gamma distribution x1 and x2, then what is the distribution or what is the trans uh, if you take the transformation u and v, what is the distribution of this u? Similarly, what is the distribution of this v? Can we say that if x1 and x2 are the gamma distribution then some of them is also be the gamma distribution that's the purpose of this task or in other word if you say if x1 and x2 are the gamma distributions then show that the sum of the gamma distribution is all again a gamma distribution while the ratio of them will follow the beta distribution the proof is very simple what we can do is we can start from here x1 and x2 are the two gamma distributions are there so it's the pdf is li written like here this is the gamma distribution of the two parameters now again they are independent then we can find the joint density function as of here because it's if it is independent then what is the joint density function of the variables that is nothing but the f of x1 plus f of x1 into f of x2 so if you multiply them here now since this is the transformations are there what we have discussed in our last class is you have to find the joint density function by using here where j is nothing but my jacobians and the uh, transformations are given to here what is the rule behind that you have your target is to find the value of the x1 your target is to find the value of the x2 so that you can find the jacobian you can easily see that if you multiply them both what will happen you can easily get that uv is nothing but my x1 it means you can find the value of x1 as here substitute this value this you will get it find the jacobians easily what is the partial derivative with respect to u is nothing but my v and so on you will get the jacobian as of this further x1 and x2 both are greater than or equal to 0 is given to you what is the meaning of the x1 is greater than 0 it means uv is my greater than 0 and here what is the meaning of that is u is greater than 0 v is greater than 0 and from here you can see v u is less than of the 1 otherwise it will be a negative so that's the domain of this now you can substitute all the values are there this is my jacobian f of x1 and x2 what is the f of x1 and x2 are here this is the v I can substitute the value of the x1, x2 here by using these values. What is that? This is nothing but here. Now we can compare them. So these are the pairs of the u. We can collect the pairs of the u. We can collect the pairs of the v separately. We can get here. This is the u and this is the v. Now since this is a part of the uh, gamma of alpha, gamma of beta. And we all know that gamma of alpha, gamma of beta divided by gamma of this. This is nothing but my beta function of alpha and beta. So if I divided this part by alpha plus beta and one is multiplied by alpha and beta, what will happen? I can write like this way. I can multiply and divide it by here. I can take the separate as a u as a separate, v as a separate. What is that? You Do you remember that? What, what is that? Which distribution is here? This is, yes, this is nothing but my beta distribution. And what is that? This is, yes, again, it's a gamma distribution. Also, you can see this part is totally dependent on the u only u part is there and this part is totally dependent on the v what is the meaning of that u and v are independent so what is that if this is the part related to the u which, which distribution is there this is nothing but my beta distribution of the first kind this is the gamma distribution are there so it means some of the two gamma distribution is again the gamma distribution while the ratio of them will be here Otherwise, if you are unable to remember what is the PDF or gamma distributions are there, what you can do is this is the PDF of the joint density function. We can find the marginal density function of the. This is the optional for you if you are unable to remember the previous one. So you can find the marginal density function of the V. Now since this is the integration of the V, so this part is constant. This is constant. This is constant which is taken outside. What is that? You remember that? What is the integration of x to the power n minus x? and minus of say a of theta what is that this is gamma function of the n divided by a raised to power n so here a is my 1 by theta so you can see that this value is my here now what is that the, this value and this value is nothing but my beta function so you can write as a 1 by beta so what is that this is nothing but beta distribution of here similarly you can find the marginal density function of v uh, what is that you can integrate with respect to u so this part is my constant it can be taken outside this part is my constant which can taken outside so this is that what is that you i think you can easily remember that this is nothing but my beta function of alpha and 
beta and you can see you can substitute the value of the beta is my alpha gamma function of here what is that this will be cancel out and what is the pending is my here again you can see what is that this is nothing but my gamma function of here this is the gamma function of the second kind the first kind is that when theta is 1 then we generally call as the first kind look at the another question is there if x and y are the two independent gamma variates with only one parameter that's the gamma distribution of the one parameters then you have to show that x plus y that is again a beta gamma distribution while the ratio of them will follow a beta distribution of the second kind so that's a, again very simple this is the gamma distribution of the first kind so what is the pdf of the gamma distribution of first kind here this one since they are given to you independent so we can find the pdf of this as here now transformation is given to you so what you can do is you have to find the joint pdf by here why while your target is to find the value of the x1 from here x2 from here now why, how you can find that either you can find the value of the x1 from here this is my v of x2 substitute this value here what is that u is nothing but my x1 uh, x2 v plus of here so what is that this is x2 is common this so what is that x2 is nothing but my u upon 1 plus v and once x2 is my here v is my v upon this one otherwise you can also take addition add one on the both sides so that it becomes the x plus y so what is that this is nothing but my here you can find the value of the x2 from here and the x1 substitute this x1 and x2 are here you will get the jacobian which is nothing but the mi minus of this further x1 is greater than 0 x2 is greater than 0 what is the meaning of that if x1 is greater than 0 what is the meaning is uv is greater than 0 x2 greater than 0 means u is greater than 0 what is the meaning of that both are my greater than 0 so what is the range of the u and v this is nothing but 0 to infinity substitute all the values are here we will get this equation we can substitute the value of the x1 this is the substitute the value of the x2 jacobian is nothing but my this is not true this jacobian is my here now we can substitute this value this is the actually the jacobian now you can come you can take the u coefficient separate v are there again this is the gamma function of the alpha and beta so we can multiply and divide it by gamma function of uh, alpha plus beta and here what is that i can take this uh, this is the function of totally dependent on the u and this part is u i can take it common and so on again you can see this is a totally dependent on the u this is the totally dependent on v what is the meaning of that u and v are independent variables do you remember that which distribution is here this is nothing but my gamma distribution what is that this is this is beta distribution of the second kind b so what is that this are the required proof of this so what is the conclusion is that if you have the two this is very useful for your csr net this is useful for the iit jam and this is also useful for the gate examination so if you have the two gamma distributions then uh, you can see the ratio is the beta kind of first kind sum of the two independent gamma variate is also the gamma variate ratio of the two independent gamma variate is the beta distribution of the second kind remember that this beta independent is a important thing so this is the way you can transform the gamma distribution we will see some more transformation in our next class related to the two dimension random variables Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.